Hi, my name's Mike Ehrlich, and I'm here at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And I'm sitting next to a terminal, a screen actually, a display screen for our Bloomberg terminal. And uh, you probably all heard of Michael Bloomberg, the mayor of New York City. Uh, he became a multi-billionaire by building the company that actually sells this technology. Now this technology is important to our students because it gives our students an edge, an ability to learn how not just about the financial markets, and I have a, I have a, I have a display here where I can create a display for some of the financial markets. So here we are at the terminal. On the right-hand side, we have the display that well, we showed you the sleeve of uh, out in the lobby. Here we can actually look at specific information. So if I want to look up, say, IBM equity, um, I can basically look up IBM equity. In this case, I want to look at the U.S. equity. And I can look at uh, company overview, technical analysis. But I can actually look at, for instance, uh, where uh, options are trading on IBM stock. Right, so you can see IBM stock, which is trading 154.87, up 0.69 on the day. Um, but I can see that for, for, the, uh, for the vanilla options, I can see what the implied volatility is, that the, the Bloomberg implied volatility is 23.5%. And I can do all sorts of fancy calculations. I can export this data to Excel. I can manipulate it in other formats. So our students are becoming conversant and experts in this technology where they can learn not just about the finance from a theoretical classroom perspective, but they can actually learn how to do it in person and how professionals are dealing with this information. They can actually deal with it in the same way that anybody on Wall Street would deal with it. But there are about 300,000 professionals worldwide who use this device to decide what to buy, sell, trade, invest. And we would like our students to have an opportunity to participate in that market. Now, if you were a student in, um, say India, you could actually look at the Indian markets, the Indian stock markets, uh, the Indian currency. You could customize this for any part of the world or any part of the markets, whether you're looking at, say, municipal bond markets or mortgage markets or U.S. equity markets or any segment of the markets. They could customize this, and our students can learn to become Bloomberg certified uh, by using our terminal here in the School of Management. Today, I have, I have it set up in sort of, a, sort of a generic market, looking at U.S. markets. And so on the upper left, I have it set up so looking at U.S. equity markets. Uh, so we'll see the Dow Jones and S&P 500, and you can see it's a pretty good day for the U.S. stock markets. I see the Dow is up almost 110, 110.34 points as of this moment, 0.94%. Uh, and uh, I can also see that it's uh, up 2.66% on the year, and of course in the currency, the U.S. dollar is also up 2.66%. But I can look at foreign markets as well, because of course, as a U.S. investor, I look at across the world for investment opportunities. I can see uh, Mexican and Brazilian markets here in the Americas. I can see... Uh, the FTSE in, uh, or the DAC, FTSE in, in England, or the DAX in, in Germany, uh, other European markets, as well as I can see the Nikkei uh, or Hang Seng in, in uh, Japan or, or uh, China. And now, of course, if I'm going to invest in those foreign markets, I'm going to care about the currency exchange rates. And so over on the right, I've set it up where I can quickly look at all of the exchange rates. So I have all the exchange rates for the major currencies, U.S. dollars, euros, Japanese yen, pounds, Swiss francs, Canadian dollars, Aussie, New Zealand, Hong Kong, uh, uh, Norway, and Sweden. And I can look at the cross exchange rates. So I can quickly see that the U.S. dollar is now trading at about 1.4140 dollars per euro, or I can see it's 81.072 yen to the dollar, for instance, right this moment. Now, these two graphs give you an idea of how things have been going over the day. So each day they start afresh. And you can see that actually the first one is the uh, stock market. And you see the stock market has been jagged, kind of trending down a little bit, started stronger on the day. Uh, and you can see the dollar currency has actually weakened on the day also, at least versus the euro, which is this, uh, this bottom graph as well. Over in this block, we're actually looking kind of more at the fixed income markets. And so I'll see what it costs to borrow money and where you can make investments in, in, in bonds. So Fed funds, where banks lend to each other, is about 0.15%. Uh, and treasury bills, where, where people could invest their money for short-term safe investments, the one-year treasury bill has a yield of 0.21%. Uh, by contrast, we have the euro deposit market. That's the euro dollar deposit market is where banks lend to one another. And the one-year rate there is 0.76%. Um, we could also look at longer-term bonds. So I can see that, for instance, that the uh, five-year U.S. Treasury bond has a yield of 1.938%, the 10-year 3.277%, and the 30-year 4.435%. I can also look at uh, commercial paper markets where corporations uh, can either borrow money or you can invest in commercial paper. Um, I look at the futures markets as well or LIBOR fixings. Um, I can also look at the prime rate. The prime rate is the rate that corporations borrow from banks uh, as kind of the, the base rate, uh, which is 3.25%. 
Um, and I can also note, for instance, that the oil prices today are 101.37 for West Texas Intermediate, that's the, that's the futures contract uh, oil uh, per barrel. Now down here is where we have news. Uh, this news feed uh, represents news from around the world. Uh, Bloomberg actually now employs more reporters than the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times combined. And so they have, uh, I think, over 2,000 reporters who are producing stories constantly that get filtered up here. And so if you're, our students are trying to need to learn about this news, need to learn about the finance and what's behind these things, but they also need to learn how to use this technology to make decisions and help their corporation make decisions, get the jobs that they want to get later on Wall Street. And so really, in fact, uh, this, this, this Bloomberg terminal is the kind of technology in the School of Management that gives our students the edge in the job market and in the future where they can be successful.